In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing what I think is the best mid-price range baitcasting combo. Now the reason that I'm going to be showcasing this specific combo is because I've owned it for about two years. It was actually the first combo that I ever bought and it's still extremely smooth to this day. It was extremely easy to learn on. So for all you beginners, it's a great choice if you're just starting out. Now before I get into the video, I just want to preface that I would highly recommend this combo to all skill levels. Whether you're a beginner or you're an advanced fisherman, just trying to add to your fishing arsenal. So the baitcasting combo that I'm going to be showcasing is the Luz Mach 1 Speed Spool Baitcasting Combo. Now this combo ranges from about 150 to 170 US dollars on the Luz website. Now starting off with the details about this reel, it comes in both right and left hand retrieve. It comes in a 7.5 to 1 gear ratio. Now for you guys that aren't familiar with gear ratios, it basically means that the spool will turn seven and a half times for every 360 degree turn of the reel handle. So what I've found is that the 7.5 to 1 gear ratio is good for pretty much all applications, whether you're using moving baits or you're just flipping in pads. Now this reel is an eight ball bearing system, making it super smooth. It also has easily adjustable magnetic brakes on the side right here. So I usually like to keep these magnetic brakes at around two, but when I first started, I had them anywhere from eight to 10. So it really helps you to not backlash as much when you're first starting out and learning how to use a bait caster. Now, what I like about this reel is all the components, they all have clickers. So that has a clicker right there. The tension knob right here, it has a clicker as well as a drag, obviously. So another feature I really like on this reel is that it has these really grippy knobs. Out of all the reels I fish with, I think I can say that I like these knobs the best. They're just super easy to grip onto when I'm winching in a fish. So this reel is obviously made out of a graphite frame, which makes it super light, which I really like, and it feels incredibly good in the hand. Now enough about the reel, let's get into the rod. Now the rod is made out of IM8 graphite blanks, making it super light and very sensitive. The guides right here are steel guides with aluminum inserts, so your line slides super smoothly through them. And yeah, this rod comes in two different sizes, both a 610 medium heavy fast action and a 72 medium heavy fast action. So this one that I currently have is the 610 model and I find it's pretty much good for all applications. I've used it for jerk baits, I've used it for topwater frogs, I've used it for flipping in pads, literally everything this rod is good for. So now just like the knobs I mentioned, on the actual rod itself here instead of having a cork material it's this really nice grippy foam material and i never get blisters or anything and it feels really good on your hand now another thing to note about this combo is the color scheme i really like this white and green color it just looks really sleek and I really like it. Now over two years of hard abuse, like I said, it's still held up extremely well. So that's why I'd recommend it. it actually holds a candle to my combo that is actually double the price of this one. So I'm definitely gonna be probably buying more of these in the future and I'd highly recommend it. Now the reason I'd recommend this specific one, this is actually the, an older model over the newer lose models is because it's obviously gonna be cheaper. That's why I bought this one, because it was pretty budget friendly, and for 150 bucks, I don't think you're really going to beat it. Alright guys, well that is going to wrap up this review. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. If it provided you value, I'd really appreciate it if you went down there and hit that subscribe button and dropped a like. And also, if you're an experienced fisherman, comment below what your first bait casting combo was. I'd really like to know. I'll also have this rod and reel combo down in the description for you guys to check out. So I really hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.